hello and welcome to another Eurorack video. What I want to show you today is how to use the INV attenuate and offset generator by Circuit Abbey as a waveform processor. The INV module is a dual attenuverter, offset generator and amplifier which also acts as a multiple and a mixer. And because you can amplify the signal and offset it, you can also use it to clip audio signals, which is done at about 10 and minus 10 volts. I asked Circuit Abbey whether I could harm the module with this, and they said, you're safe. So let's go ahead. What I'm doing here is I patched a triangle wave from the IntelliJ Dixie VCO into input one. So the signal goes to the first attenuverter and offset block, and then out of output one into input two, which sends it to the second attenuverter and offset block, and from output two, it goes out into the mixer and to the recorder. So let's listen to the triangle wave. And on the oscilloscope, we see that it's just a regular triangle wave, and the INVI is set up so it doesn't do anything to the signal right now. But now let's see what happens when we amplify the signal. It gets louder, of course, but it's still not clipping. So let's offset it. And here we go. We see that the signal is clipping and we can also hear it. Now we take this signal coming through the first attenuate and offset block and we can change it again with the second block. So we can offset it downwards, for example, amplify it again. And when we combine this, we can clip the signal at both ends. And of course, we can invert it also. That's pretty cool, but of course, there's more. Okay, what I did now is I unplugged output one and plugged a sine wave from the IntelliJ Dixie VCO into input two. Like this, the INVI behaves like a mixer, so each of the signals gets its own attenuate and offset block and is mixed together at the end. Let's listen to it. All right, that sounds like a sine wave and a triangle wave mixed together. And we can also see that on the oscilloscope. So now let's start amplifying, offsetting, and clipping the signals. If I amplify the triangle wave, and offset it, we clip it again. And then by inverting the sine wave, we can now subtract and mix both signals together. And like this, we can create even more cool waveforms. Right now, both waveforms are at the same frequency, but you can of course mix and match them as you see fit. If you have a second INV or a second offset and attenuverter, you can get even more creative. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and have fun patching your modular.